Morning Average Guy Cigar fans, Jerry and Will out in the shed today. We're enjoying the Mark Twain Memoir Number no. 2, the 6x60 size. This is a Nicaraguan origin cigar. It's got a Pennsylvania Broadleaf Maduro wrapper and Nicaraguan Longleaf filler and binder. Uh, medium, see I rate a medium full. I'm saying it's just a good medium. Uh, Will, your first take? It's, it's between a medium and a full. Probably more towards a medium for me. Pretty light draw on this is good. Construction's really good. It's a good looking cigar. Uh, no big veins or anything in the wrapper. Uh, about $3 a stick if you buy the 20 pack from CI. Uh, Mark Twain had a quote and since my son's sitting here, I'll, I'll uh, use it for him. Mark Twain said when he was 16 years old, he was convinced his father was the biggest fool on the face of the earth. But by the time he became 21, he realized the old man had learned a whole lot. That's a paraphrase. That's not exactly it, but you get the gist. And then my son's sitting here. Hopefully he'll pick up on that. So... Another little fun fact about Mark Twain, he could not write unless he was smoking a cigar. He had, was it, what, like eight cigars a day or something? Yeah. And so his manager was not on board with this plan. That so, was his wife. Mm -hmm. So she said, no more cigars for you. So he was dry for like a month with no cigars. With six weeks without smoking. And he, he could not write at all when he wasn't smoking. Yeah. So that's just a fun so he started fact. back smoking somewhere between eight and ten cigars a day and immediately began writing again. Okay. Fun fact for you. So there, there's our history lesson for today and this first review on the cigar. We'll be back in a second with some more. Thanks. Jerry and Will, Average Guy Cigars with the Mark Twain Memoir number two, mm -hmm. six by sixty. I'm about a third of the way through the cigar. Construction's good, nice, even burn. Uh, it's got a uh, medium body, but it's got a really smooth flavor. There's no bite to this cigar at all. I think one of the reviews on CI mentions a little peppery flavor. I'm not getting any of that. Uh, I, it, but it is a good cigar. I've enjoyed it. Will? It's definitely mellowed out a little bit. I think it's probably a good solid medium now. Uh, Great. I so I was right to start with, though, say? Okay, I'm sorry, Will. You'd be surprised what you're going to learn by the end of this video. I'm, I'm not getting the, the, the peppery flavor. I'm getting maybe a little bit of spice, but it's not peppery. Definitely no leather flavor. So. Do not smoke in a shoe. Right, right. Okay. All right. So, uh, so far, good cigar. Uh, right now, I've had to tell you yes or no, I would, I would recommend this cigar, uh, especially at uh, about three bucks a stick. It'd be a hard, hard to, to beat. beat it, yeah. yeah. Back and wrap up in a second. Thanks. Jerry and Will, Average Guy Cigars, are smoking the Mark Twain Memoir Number no. 2. The uh, six by sixty good medium body cigar will. I think it's an excellent cigar for three dollars. I mean, it's got a really good body. It's got a really good construct, really good build to it. The destruction's excellent. It hasn't come unraveled on me. It's burning very evenly. It's got a good medium flavor. I would say it's more than medium though. You medium good quality cigar for three bucks. It's gonna be hard to beat this this uh, six by sixty Mark Twain Memoir Number Two. Uh, if you enjoyed our video, click like at the bottom of the screen. As always, send us any comments, questions. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page, Average Guy Cigars, and we'll see you next time.